you're probably thinking, what am I doing? Well, I like this radio. This is a, a fantastic radio. It's a FT1900. I really, really like it. But, see, I bought it from a friend of mine who, he'll be the first person to tell you, he don't look after his radios. As far as he's concerned, they're there to be used. If they get scratched, who cares? If they get dirty, who cares? They're there to be used, not to be polished. But I've had this for about six years now, five or six years, and I haven't cleaned it, I haven't taken it apart. I've just I've just used it now and again. We've got the same dirt that it came with when I bought it in the buttons. It's unusual for me. Usually I do clean a, I clean a radio meticulously when I first buy it to get rid of the previous person's dirt, but I didn't. We've got dirt in the speaker. You can see all that there in the little speaker mesh. But there's not a lot of dust and dirt. There's, it's obviously spilt something on top at some point and it's gone down onto the speaker and we've got a little bit of mould growing in there. There's been something spilt on the top here because we've got some residue here that's seeped in. Luckily it doesn't look like it's gone into the board. The radio itself works brilliantly. We've got some dirt and uh, just general debris gone along the back. Um, this all could do with a bit of a clean. But overall it's a really good condition little FT1900. That's what I'm doing. Giving it a bit of a clean. This bracket had had a load of drink or something. Obviously you must have spilled it on the top and it's run down and it was all in the corner of this bracket. I've never had this bracket off in the five or six years I've owned this radio. Um, I just never had the time or the inspiration, I suppose, to take it apart and clean it all. So the only thing I'd done was fix the, electric, the power cable when it broke that time. So, just cleaned all of that off with a bit of this. This stuff is really good. Um, gets most dirt and grease off of everything. So this that's nice and clean now and smelling of lemons. 
um, zesty lemon. I'm going to go and get a cotton bud in a minute, and that will get most of the rest of the dirt out from inside this speaker because the air didn't really blow. It blew a lot of it out, but there's still some sticky stuff because obviously what's happened is obviously been a sticky drink that he spilt on this, and it's all stuck in there, sticky. So I'm going to get some. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use. I might use like nail varnish remover or something like that on the end of a cotton bud. You know, get a bit all to clean out, I reckon. And that'll probably go for around in these buttons as well. Got to be careful with air, you know. You don't want to, you might force stuff or dislodge stuff if you blow too much air in places. All these buttons. I gave them a little blow of air, but not a lot. I don't want to ruin the uh, switches, especially in that microphone plug. I don't know why a lot of hams. A lot of ham radios. Well, I say a lot, not a lot, but some. Um, there's three that I can think of that use this plug. I mean, I, I, why? It's got to be the most un uh, unversatile, I suppose, is the word. Yeah, you know, flimsy. The most flimsy plug. I mean, the good old plug it in and twist it on. What are they called? Not two five nine. Ah, it's skipped me head now what the ordinary mic plug's called. You lot put it in the comments, you all know. PL259 is a bloody coax plug. Uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll think of it probably later on. But the name of the plug, the good old mic plug, man. But That's alright, never mind. So, this is a new microphone, because the one that came with it had had it, all the buttons. You couldn't see them because it had been used so much. The PTT was broken. So I ended up using the same cable, took the mic, the new mic apart, put the old cable on the new mic, um, because I hate wiring these, these are a bastard, and the one that I bought come without a plug on it, and I hate wiring these, I'm just no good at it, they always go wrong. See, I mean the most flimsy plugs, but there must be a reason why they use them. Anyway, so the mic I'm going to give a bit of a clean, even though this is a new mic, but it's been on there for about five or six years. So, right, let's, uh, away we go. A while back now, I printed off the whole instruction manual, the whole lot for it, because I haven't got one. And uh, obviously I can find it and get on a PDF and look at it and stuff, but I don't like technology, you know? I don't like having to look on PDFs and things. If I want, to, if I want a manual and I want to work on something, I like to have a physical paper manual there. I can find what I want. You know, flip through the pages, find what I want, leave it there. <sighs> it's just so much easier. Don't need to rely on internet connection, which I've never got any of. You know, it's here. So, printed off the whole manual for it. Um, and uh, there we go. It's much better. I love manuals, you know. I've literally got... Uh, literally, like, hundreds of manuals for all sorts. All you, what you can imagine I've had in the past. And manuals, literally manuals for everything For some reason, this pesky bolt comes loose every single ride. Obviously the thread's stripped. Even with copious amounts of thread lock, that bolt still comes undone. I think a new crank is in order, but I'll just keep tightening up, it'll be fine. Can't afford a new crank. Thought I'd have a little go on the CB. Yeah, I heard him once to chat to American, but by the time he'd given out where he was, what flat he was in, you know, how far up the stairs he was, the guy has gone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd have a little go on the CB. We're about three days later since I first started filming this now, but um, I'm just going to cut up some wood and make some little, um, what do you call them? like block things to put on the wall 
because up there there's no, nothing like that just goes straight to outside and I always get look I've got spiders there and uh, stuff and wind keeps blowing stuff over and all sorts so I'm gonna make some bits of wood to put in there and happy days will be well away then They're happy I've got the spare wood so I thought I might as well do it um, the old radio is still sitting there uh, need to finish that off really but I had so much to do I've been off doing a bit of tree surgery. I'll do anything, man. Anything I'll do. And I've been doing a bit of tree surgery. So I was cutting down trees and that after I first started filming the first part of this video. But then I finished that. Went off to go and cut some trees down and clear some forestry. And um, I haven't had a chance to do anything else since then. I've been flat out, man. But let's finish this off. I've got a little bit more wood here. Look, hopefully I'll be able to get all the little slots done. Um, at least that means that'll stop the wind coming in here because it's uh well it's getting on for winter and i want to try and keep the heat in because it's bloody cold at night i'm trying to sleep kids have been doing a little bit of conquerage doing a bit of conquering they've been drilling them i've just been hanging around really but anyway thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one all the best treat everyone equally and we'll have a happy life don't forget if you want a nice air freshener or any other thing for your home Certainly think about looking up and get, clicking on the links in the description to this video because it'll help out the family of mine that are selling these and make sure you link to their party. You can get all kinds of stuff on that um, on their pages. You can get, you know, these air fresheners which are great for your car or you can do what I've done and hang one up wherever you want. This is here in the good old shack where the radios reside. And that seems to be making this room smell absolutely delicious. And um, I can't remember what flavour that one is, to be fair. Oh, it's there, look. It's black cherry sandalwood. And my God, does it smell absolutely brilliant. So as I said, you can get all kinds. You can get plug-in air fresheners. You can get themed stuff, like Halloween-themed and Christmas-themed. You can get plug-in air fresheners, the, the diffusers, all kinds of things to that nature you can get on there and trust me you won't be spending any more money than you would if you went down the bloody supermarket or anywhere else so it's worth having a look there's loads of different flavors loads of different kinds these are really good i like putting these in the car because the smell lasts a long time as well and plus i get this is not a sponsor i get absolutely nothing from you know mentioning this kind of stuff just purely helping out some family that are selling these um you know everyone's got to make an income so if you wouldn't mind go and have a look on there if you like anything brilliant um and i'll catch you on the next one and we all appreciate every single one of you whether you're subscribed or not or if you're a member or not you're all massively appreciated especially if you go and have a look on them websites thanks to everyone who's gone and you know possibly bought something from one of those pages that i put on the links are in the description you're massively appreciated as I said before and also thanks if you've just watched this subscribed a member whatever you are thanks for being here I hope you're having a wonderful time I'll catch you on the next one hopefully the next time what my plan is I'm going to clean this up even better because I haven't had a chance man I've been absolutely flat out I haven't had a chance to do anything but then the next time I'm going to get the I've got a tripod I'm going to get the tripod out I'm going to put the antenna on it I'm going to find the coax cable, plug this in, and we'll do a little bit of radio, a little bit of two metres outside somewhere. Um, I might go to the hill, I might not, but here, nevertheless, we'll be taking this out somewhere and have a good old time.